Is it true the kids have caught some disease from Rwanda? What? No, it's just a virus or something. Have you experienced anything like this in your time in Rwanda? How did you even know I was in Rwanda? Word gets around. <sighs> what made you come back? Do you know what? I'm busy. Okay, uh, do you want to take a seat? Try and find this in the front there. Yeah, anyone not had symptoms in the last half hour? I've been trying to work out exactly what they've all eaten. I think it's definitely something they've ingested. Well, I've narrowed it down to this. Okay. I'll take it to Rachel. Great. It's just a little tummy bug. I mean, you know the rubbish they eat nowadays. It's uh, it's nothing to worry about, I'm sure. I think it's that like Rwandan curry, you know. I'm starting to feel a bit dodgy myself. Canteen's the most likely source, but uh, with all this other food about the place, it could be anything. We'll start in the canteen. Okay. I don't think it's food poisoning. Symptoms appear to have subsided. There's no vomiting. <coughs> you and all? Yeah. Come on in. Ladies, Neil Birmingham from the local authority. Hello there. Hiya. And this is a list of everything they've eaten. And the symptoms are pretty much the same. And stomach cramps, sudden urge to go to the toilet. No, yeah, it's very good. It's very good. No vomiting? No vomiting, no. Right then. Who's in charge of food safety management? Um, yeah, as I suppose uh, I am. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Candice. Oh, that's lovely. Candice, I'll need uh, access to all employees, food, Hygiene training records. And you are? Rose Kelly. I'm the, the joint owner and manager type thing. That's great. Rose, I want to see your food storage and cleaning schedules. Uh, Rachel, all toilets, including staff toilets, need to be thoroughly cleaned before anyone else uses them. Tell the, uh, tell the site supervisor hyperchlorite solutions. Um, we, we have got an event happening today, actually, Neil. No, I have to cancel it. But it might not be food poisoning. <laughs> Yep, and my auntie might be my uncle. Ah, is this the uh, suspected cause? Date meat to kids for profit. That's disgusting. It's dangerous. It's irresponsible. Well, what kind of parents are you? Knowing that I've got a room full of six students and you didn't even come forward. This place will have to be closed down, then deep cleaned, then all the stock binned. I mean, it, it, it's a complete wipeout. Look, Mr. Lawson, we, we wouldn't do anything to hurt kids. We, we checked that meat thoroughly, didn't we, Rose? As God's my witness, we did not think there was anything wrong with it. You expect tainted meat to be crawling with maggots, do you? Look, will we uh, lose our jobs? Jobs? When the dust settles on this lot, you two will be lucky not to end up inside. The 
this is what could be the start of a major epidemic. Oh, for God's sake. Ah, oh, Mr Lawson, would you like to comment on the food poisoning? No, I'll get that toy out of my face before I break it. The pupils are saying that it's a chicken curry. Care to comment? I'm Neil Birmingham, I'm the environmental health officer. Um, I haven't isolated the exact cause of the outbreak, but I suspect that it involves the use of out-of-date meat. Hey, hang on, we don't know that yet. I said suspect. Um, I'll know when we get the samples back from the lab. Could you also comment on the story that one of your teachers, Kim Campbell, was responsible for bringing a baby into this country illegally? I'll give you two minutes to get your slimy backside off these premises. I'll take that as a no comment. Go. Away. Uh, Kim, this is Neil Burnham. He's going to have a word with this lot. Have you seen Rachel? Uh, uh, yeah, she came in about five minutes ago. She took Philip out. Huh. OK, listen up, everybody. This is Mr Birmingham from the Environmental Health. I want you to listen carefully to what he has to say. OK? Thanks. OK, guys. This is a faecal pot. It's used to collect samples of your poo. <laughs> How are they? Fine. It's, uh, it's not as bad as we thought it was. Candice, it's not your fault. If I'd been about more... No. I saw pound signs in front of my eyes and, um... I'm sorry. It's my fault. What are you going to do? Are you going to feed the kids? I mean, you could lose your hands. Hey, hey, hey. This job has been the making of me. I'd have been in the gutter if it wasn't for you. Mm. Listen, if we go down, she will always get a cushy number in the prison kitchens. You could always poison Ralph Miller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You knew it contained alcohol? No, and it wasn't until I've had a few that I realised this is fermented. But by then it was too late. i better go and see Candy and Rose. I'll see you in the morning. Hey, you're not out of the woods yet. Yeah, Rachel still feels very let down. And we know we're so sorry. It's not the smartest thing you've ever done. So what happens to us now? I mean, we're still going to get a sack? Well, it's up to us that we contract, but it still depends what the smiling assassin puts in his report. I don't know. We'll have to see. And from now on, we use the front of the lorry, yeah? Rachel and Eddie aren't going to fire you. Can you just get a slap wrist? Listen, what are you up to tonight? Feeding the 5,000. Yeah, it's in my dance at ours as well. We could, um... We could... Go out. After the day I've had. Yeah. There's plenty of room for one more at mine. Do you fancy Rwandan curry? <laughs> Got any now, Yeah. <laughs> 